Whoops. Who wanted this? You know, there's been a lot of people recently just telling everyone to go outside, touch some grass. So forget it. We're recording outside today. Yes, I'm going to have my USB stick out here and we're installing Arch Linux outside. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on the laptop. So, like I said previously, we have our USB stick right here that we're going to stick into the computer. And we also have our power supply due to the fact that we have this out here. So I just plugged in the power cable. I have my power cable, so to get this behind me, I can plug in the computer so that I don't have to worry about the battery, which is already pretty good in here, but I just want to be safe. So let's turn the computer on and spam that F12 key. All right, it actually worked this time. Enter. All right, there we go. Oh, hey, this is new. It's using... Can you hear that? Soon PC speaker beeps. Yeah, it's now using system D boot, which is nice. Um, I much rather prefer grub, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go leave this here while I go get my other laptop because that is gonna be um that's gonna be the laptop that I'm gonna use to display the Arch Linux install guide. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. I got the laptop. This is the Inspiron 5406 featured in the um in the React OS video. So yeah. Alright, here we go. I think we're in. Yep, we're in. So installation guide. Yes, yes, I don't care. Set the console keyboard layout and font. So we're gonna go load keys GB, I think it is. Oh, there we go. Hey, now we're using the UK layout, that's nice. So, I'm um, just gonna go um, IWCTL, station, WLAN zero, connect, sky, WHHF4 2.4. Right, type the network passphrase. There we go, I think we're in. Control C, ping youtube.com there we go we are on the internet so uh yup yup update the system clock time date ctl uh system clock synchronized yes okay let me just go cf cf disk um okay. oh whoa we're in so we are just gonna delete the partition <laughs> packages pack strap dash k slash mnt base linux linux firmware intel ucode network manager dhcpd that even is, is it dhcpcd or is it dh i'm just gonna do a dhcpcd um I did network manager, nano, and sudo. Target not found, network manager. All right, then I guess we'll install it when we install my DE later. Oh, hey, and I actually typed in um, DHCP CD correct. Nice, so we are installing. We are downloading at a pretty bad speed, but I guess we're just gonna, um, have to wait it out. I would have much rather done it over Ethernet, but I do not have an Ethernet cable that reaches this far. I do have an extremely long one, but not this far. So yeah, I guess we just have to wait, what, like 10 minutes until this installs.
it took 15 minutes and 15 seconds to um, complete the installation of Linux. Probably because I was on a 2.4 gig network and I'm really far from the computer. So back to the installation guide. Appstab. Gen F stab dash U slash MNT slash ETC slash F stab. Is that good? What? Enter. Cat slash MNT slash ETC slash F stab. Yup, I think that's all good. Alright. Arch dash CH root slash MNT. We're in. So, um, ln dash sf user share slash zone info slash eu of europe london slash etc slash local time i think i did it hw clock dash dash sys tohc there we go local gen nano slash etc slash local dot con all right lang equals en underscore gb dash utf dash there we go yes save now nano slash etc slash host name travel mate p256 yup password updated successfully sudo pacman dash s yeah so bootloader here we go grub dash install dash dash efi dash directory equals slash boot dash dash bootloader dash id equals equals arch linux installing for x86 64 efi platform Installation finished, no error reported. Okay, nice. So, um, grub make config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. Enter. Generating, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. We're in. So I think that's that. Exit the ch root environment by pressing control D. I. Um, on U mount dash R slash MN MNT. There we go. Uh, reboot. This is it. We're rebooting. I'm taking out the USB stick. I need to go get that. Hey, Arch Linux. Let's boot into it. I got the USB stick. It says clean you can't really see it but oh whoa okay this is the latest kernel available 6.9.1 so let's log in as root root and there we go we are in you can barely see it if i turn down the brightness on my camera maybe if i just pick it up you can see it Yup, there we go, if I can focus the camera, we're in! We have successfully installed Arch Linux outside. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye! Alright, after an hour, I'm back out here and I have installed Plasma 6. I wanted to install XFC, but I decided against it because it doesn't use Wayland. Then I decided to use GNOME, but it doesn't support fractional scaling by default. So I eventually just installed KDE. So yeah, everything works. I can open up a 
terminal. There we go. Console. And I can Neo fetch. There we go. So yeah, that's going to be it for me for now. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye.